Want to know the interest? Yeah, I also run Assassin's Creed. I have done runs of Ezio's trilogy, so two Brotherhood and Revelations. I overheard your dad talking about Sirius Black last night. The Ministry of Magic thinks he's after me. Black's escaped to come after you. Oh, Harry, you'll have to be really, really careful. Don't go looking for trouble. I don't go looking for trouble. Trouble usually finds me. But they'll catch him, won't they? I mean, they've got all the muggles looking out for him, too. Scabbers, come back! Can't you keep that monster under control? Calm down, Ron. You don't want to wake Professor Lupin. Don't worry, Ron. We'll help you find Scabbers. Button to activate your wand. Keep holding while you move the mouse to aim your wand. Now let go of the mouse and you'll cast a spell. There he is. That is not lenient. That is not lenient at all. We can climb over this luggage, Harry. We just need to walk up to it and we'll be able we'll to start to climbing. To climb over those crates. Right then. You lead the way. Walk forward towards the crates and click the right mouse button to jump. <gasps> Let's pick up these party pots, please. I suppose we'll have to push this thing out of the way. Or one of us could cast a pulso. Depulso, not just. This one, Hermione. You, thank goodness. Right, now where's that rat? Pass Alan Hermione, won't it, Hermione? It'll store our adventures up to this point. Oh, great. Scabbers went behind that wall. Oh, really, Ron? You might think about training your rat. Wow! It's a magically locked cabinet. We need to cast at the same time to open it. All three of us. I'll start, and you two join in. Lumos! Watch out! Well, look who it is. Potty and the weasel. I should have known the pathetic excuse for a rat had something to do with you. Draco Malfoy. So they put you in the creature's carriage, did they? Probably the only place you could find a friend. Actually, I do have a rather interesting friend I'd like to meet. Everyone play nicely now. Oh, no. What's that monstrous looking book? Actually, I believe it's a copy of the Monster Book of Monsters. Cast of the pages. We'll knock them out of the air, Harry. <laughs> Yeah, Ron's always a savage. Is it okay to scream now? Ron, you really do need to work on the accuracy of your spell casting. A wizard card. I love collecting these. If we search around enough for Hogwarts, we could find all 80 collector's cards. We can look inside the Folio Universitas after picking up a collector's Scabbers. card. Press the escape key and click on the You're picture giving us a lot of, of trouble, of you useless rat. Come on, let's get back to our compartment before we're missed.
Harry, Ron, and Hermione were delighted to be back at Hogwarts. Harry's encounter with the Dementor had caused him no serious harm, other than a growing feeling of dread. The three friends hurried to their first class of the term, anxious to resume their lessons. I'm Professor Lupin, your new Defense Against the Dark Arts teacher. Our first lesson involves the spell Carpe Retractum. Ron Weasley, would you please join me? Um, me? Are you sure? Uh, Hermione's loads better at spells. You'll do fine, Ron. Just step through this door to begin. Welcome to the Carpe Retractum Challenge, Ron. There are ten challenge shields scattered throughout the challenge. Some are well hidden. Find all ten shields to earn a visit to the Bean Bonus Room. If you don't find all the shields your first time through, you can always come back. Complete the challenge by collecting the final shield. Let's get started. Carpe Retractum has two primary uses. To pull yourself towards something, or to pull something towards you. See if you can find a statue to cast the spell at. Then, watch what happens. Carpe Retractor! Carpe Retractor! Excellent. You could also use Carpe Retractor. You can jump over pits like this one, Ron. Hold down the forward arrow key to run towards it. When you get to the edge, continue holding the arrow key and press the right mouse button to jump. Um, Professor Lupin? That thing doesn't look very friendly. That is an imp, Ron. Beware. It might throw exploding wizard crackers. Spells may not be effective in this situation. Try not to let the wizard crackers touch you while they're in the air. When they land, you can pick them up. But be careful. If you're not quick enough, the crackers will explode. Go ahead, Ron. See if you can perfect, Ron. Now let's put your training to the test. To the test? Bad spawns. Shoot fire out of its, um, well, out of its backside. Cast Rictu Sempra to knock it over. Then cast again as needed to knock the fire crab into the trap. Rictu Sempra! Rictu Sempra! Please tell me that's the way out! Oh, this might not. Okay, it worked. Good. We got the jump. Oh, 
That's how you deal with imps. I guess. I just get used to it, cuz... I don't know. Like, um... I don't rage people one often. So the only game I hear is HP2, or for Pendola is HP2. Come back anytime you want to give the challenge another go. Oh my god, I went the wrong way, like a mini percent. Oh, come on. I need. Oh, I had it. What am I doing, dude? Fuck. Here we go. That was much faster than my first attempt at it in a run. Yeah, I saved like 17 seconds on the last uh, attempt. What's that Easy. Well, I hope Hagrid doesn't expect us to touch it. Disgusting creature. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Care of Magical Creatures class. I'll be teaching you this term. I'd like to introduce you to Buckbeak. He's a hippogriff. Today, you'll be learning how to ride him. You first, Harry. Just walk up to Beaky. And give him a bow. You won't have me bowing to that filthy beast. Hello, Buckbeak. There's a good hippogriff. Your goal is to fly through enough bats to beat the top number on the counter. As soon as you're ready, just click the right mouse button to make Beaky fly. Uh, for a second, I didn't trust my calculations there. Even then, I missed the extra ring I was trying to go after, which was kind of <laughs> a collector's card. That was really well done, Harry. Come back to the paddock any time you want another go. There's five courses to fly in all, and you can win a collector's card on each of them. I bet you're not dangerous at all, are you, you great ugly brute? I'm dying! Look at me! It's killed me! You're not dying. Do you think you'll be alright? Of course. Madam Palfrey can make cuts in about a second. You can bet Malfoy will make something out of this.
So because we don't go to Peeves, we don't get the shortcut passwords, so we have to do the long way. Go the long way. <laughs> I don't like the look of that armor. He's locked us in. I bet we could beat him if we all cast at once. Ron, get ready to use your carpe retractum spell when we've worn him down. Oh, goody. Three ickle playmates. <laughs> Rick, 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 It's easy to be brilliant when you're scared half to death. We'd better get on to transfiguration class. Peeves has probably made us late. All right, we got a raven claw, three raven claws, so Slytherin and the most advanced transfiguration us. spells wow. enables a wizard to become an animagus. Not even a half a puff. Look at Slytherin sneaking off in the back. And then back into people. Look, she just loved class. He's like, screw this, dude. Don't want to see that face. Are there any questions? Professor McGonagall, are werewolves animagi? No, they're not. Animagi turn into animals at will. A werewolf cannot control its transformation. Now for today's lesson, the Draconifers and Lepifors spells. Miss Granger, Where did he come from? perhaps what? you'd grace the class by having a go at the exercise I've prepared. Me? Oh, yes! If you'll just step through this door, then... Let's begin with the Lapifor spell, Miss Granger. Right. Lapifors. The transformation of a small object into a rabbit. Correct, Miss Granger. Five house points for Gryffindor. Cast Lapifors on the rabbit statue. You will then be able to control the transfigured rabbit. Lapifors. Use the arrow keys to move the rabbit in the desired direction. The right mouse button will make the rabbit hop. Push the four. Well done. Now, take note of the mound of earth. Position press the enter key any time you wish to stop the spell. Right. Simply complete Use the, the left task mouse button to the chew rabbit, or dig. And the spell will stop on its own. Let's move on to the Draconifor spell. Cast on the dragon statue, Miss Granger, to transform it into a living creature. Draconifors! Oh, brilliant! Now, listen closely. To proceed, you will need to use the dragon to get the fireball pickup. Then fly up and land on a platform. Finally, you must light the torch to complete this part of the challenge. Off you go, Miss Granger. Click the spacebar to make the dragon fly. Use the arrow. Click the left mouse button to make the dragon breathe fire. Once he's grabbed a fireball pickup, the dragon will produce one mouse for each pickup. Yo, Americust, how's it going? Herm face to you.
too early. This, Miss Granger, hey Proc, um, better any percent, well okay, to explain what better any percent is, you do know, you know what any percent is, so, uh, any percent is collecting collecting all the passwords or buying all the passwords collecting all the challenge shields in each of the three lessons doing all the side quests collecting all those wizard cards from those side quests and uh, that's about it in addition to progressing through the game like normal but at any percent disregards everything like that. All we have to do is get to the, the cutscene with Dumbledore and McGonagall. So in essence, better any percent is what any percent should have been in this game. Challenge shields to earn a visit to the Bean Bonus Room. You may take the challenge again any time you please. Thank you, Professor McGonagall. You can be certain I'll get all of the shields next time. Because this, the people who made this game were retarded. <laughs> it's like, yeah, what's in addition to, you know. Saving serious, what's have you do all this extra shit just to complete the game? Let alone, you know, 100% it. Right? Yeah. Very convoluted. We can come back and do it another time. Even though the following morning was stormy and foul. Harry was excited to be playing in the first Quidditch match of the season. Damn, that's pretty good. Eight seconds. That's the fastest I've seen from Twitch's standpoint. Now we obviously can't bring a real Dementor into the castle, so we'll make do with a Boggart. The Boggart will appear as the thing you fear the most, which in your case, Harry, is fear in the form of a Dementor. First, we'll practice on a target. Aim your wand at the target. Then, hold down the left mouse button to build the spell's power. You'll see a ring of light move up your arm. For a perfect cast, you must release the spell just as the ring passes over your wand. Give it a try. The incantation for the spell is Expecto Patronum. Right. Expect no patronum! Expect no patronum! Like Expect no patronum! Three perfect casts, Harry. You're ready for the next stage of the lesson. Explore the surrounding chambers and be ready to use the patronum's chamber. Oh, a 
Dementor. No, Harry, concentrate. The Boggart has taken the shape of a Dementor to play on your fears. Expect an explosion! When there is more than one Dementor, or in this case, Boggart, the creature's presence will likely keep it moving. Cast a perfect Patronus at a Boggart to disable it. Temporarily. Make perfect casts at each Boggart in the area before the spell has time to wear off. Expect an explosion! Expect an explosion! There shouldn't be a better any percent category. Any percent should look like this. Glacius is useful for freezing a number of things, Harry. Let's begin with an Amazonian salamander, shall we? Take care now, Harry. You'll need to eliminate both the creature and its fire. Give it a try. for a slide. Just use the left and right arrow keys to turn. Press the up arrow to go faster and the down arrow to slow down. Off you go. I'll see you at the end of the challenge. There we go, that's the timing I want. <laughs> Still better at physics and sound with six, yeah.
Give it to me. Yes. Wow. That was close. Very slow first phase. So it would have been the best glaciers ever if I had the first cycle of imps I wanted, which I didn't get. Shields, and you'll get to go to the bean bonus room. Thanks, Professor Flitwick. I'll be back. So, how was it? Hey, Bobski. Um, essentially, about 80% is getting to the cutscene with Dumbledore and McGonagall after saving Sirius. Um, and then when they check your checklist, they're your checklist. Uh, it's not completed, so you can't get, you can't gra graduate, aka get to the credits. Despite the because that's what you need to do to lurking around Hogwarts, finish the game Harry is to complete a checklist. To visit Hagrid. Better any percent to hear the ignores that checklist. Trial. Was that? I think it was. And getting rejected oh, is the end of the category. Look, it's Scabbers. You see, Ron, Crookshanks was innocent. I've got to, you naughty rat.
Great turn, Harry. Great, he missed. He's not a rat. He's a wizard by the name of Peter Pettigrew. What? Watch. I can explain. Pettigrew's an animagus. It wasn't Sirius Black who betrayed your parents, Harry. It was Pettigrew. In there somewhere. It's awfully quiet. You're sure you set the time turner back the right amount? There's got to be a way out. Draconicus! Nice one, Hermione. You open the door, but it's too high for me to reach. Throw more, throw more. Oh, I wanted the, I wanted the one less strat. Take third strap or third tray. Oh, 
That's twice now. We're not gonna do final exams. I forgot final exams. You know what? I'm not doing it. School, first room strat. Gotta do this. Second cycle. Yes. That was clean.
Oh, that last stream was so good. Oh, that was so good. Oh shit. Oh shit. Back here. Where's the last imp? Oh my god. Oh shit. Oh, this is so close to a sub fifty. to see you three survived your final exams. Oh, they were great fun. Speak for yourself. I'll be having nightmares for months. Well then, let's see whether you've completed all of your third year requirements. Looks like you've got a few things GG. to finish up yet. Off you go. Oh, so close to sub 50. Wow. I think I can get it. I'm, 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 I'm still a little mad at Glacius final. I just if I just did regular strats, you know, th that's why I hated you know turning casting. It, it just never works for me. But yeah, this is a good time. Definitely want to improve this.